HP Epsom Cannon doing very well from selling ink for your printer. Just how well, you won't believe it. Here's Rick. I do like knocking out an old tune. You can get all the sheet music on the internet these days. Just print it off and away you go. Oh no, not again. Yeah, I know, you've been here too. Your ink's run out, everything goes smudgy and you have to buy more. It's frustrating and very costly. Printer ink is one of the most expensive liquids you can buy and HP's inks are particularly pricey. Well, for example, if you've got an HP 301 cartridge, which was one of their more their newer ones, um, that has five mils of ink in it. It costs £12. If you add that up, um, it would mean that one litre of ink would cost you £2,400. £2,400 quid a litre? Do you know that makes it over 4,000 times more expensive than a litre of crude oil? It's 1,800 times pricier than a litre of petrol. That's the same price as 68 bottles of premium whiskey and 21 bottles of vintage bubbly. I don't know, it's enough to make you turn to whiskey and champagne. But the big question is, why do we have to shell out so often? Don't know about you, but the cartridges on my printer seem to run out a lot quicker than they used to. Turns out, there's a good reason for that. It seems our ink is the latest product to shrink. Check out these three HP cartridges from the last nine years. Until you actually open the cartridge, you would not know from the outside what you're actually getting on the inside. These cartridges are all very similar on the outside. If you take the lid off, you've got the size of the sponges changing dramatically. The sponge is the bit that holds the ink. Look how much smaller they've got over time. Obviously, we can't get as much ink in this one here as we could in this one because the sponge is just tiny. Now, to be fair, the newer cartridge is cheaper. In fact, it's nearly half the price. But don't be fooled. The cartridge price may have gone down, but it holds less than a third of the liquid. So the latest standard black HP ink is almost twice as much per litre as the 2004 model. Crafty, huh? And it's not just HP. Since 2005, Canon have cut the amount of ink in their cartridges too, meaning the price per litre has increased by 25%. Meanwhile, since 2006, Epsom have almost halved the amount of ink in theirs. To be fair, they've also halved the price of their cartridge. But, according to the price on their own website, that still means their ink is the equivalent of £1,410 a litre. How much? So what does all this downsizing mean for company profits? I'm going to try and work out just how much money I could make if I set up my own printer ink cartridge company. If only I knew someone who could tell me how much all the different parts of an ink cartridge cost at a wholesale price. Hi, this is Chris Brooks. I'm the technical director of the UK Cartridge Remanufacturers Association. I understand you need some prices. Uh, yeah. OK, then. So you say that... The sponge is what? Yes, a sponge will be three pence. Three P? Yeah. The flexible electric... Circuit is three P. Yes, and the ink will be... On small quantity rate, 15 pounds a litre. OK, and how about the plastic lid? Yes, the lid will be two pence. OK, thanks. OK, thanks, Rick. Bye. Right, let's add it all up. If we're making a cartridge with five mil of ink in it, of course, we won't be counting the cost of labour, production costs or overheads, but the cartridge itself would cost... 29p for all those components. These companies flog them for a load more than that. It's a tidy business. That definitely beats playing the piano for a living. Hang on. Yeah, that's it! It's about time I changed my line of business. OK, Epson statement, fresh from the printer. Now, they say advances in technology means printers can now produce more pages with the same amount of ink. Lots of compatible cartridges are available, but we can only guarantee printer performance when used with Epson ink. How about from HP? Well, here we go. 
They say cartridge prices reflect the huge investment in the technology. To save money, they advise buying the type of printer that best meets your needs, choosing the right setting for each job, buying multi-packs to reduce the cost long term, and using original cartridges to avoid waste or damage to your printer. I'm none the wiser from that.